and I was listening to the radio, and I heard it announced. And uh, you know that, and that's, and that's like, did you, where were you when President Kennedy was shot? I was in England, and I heard it on what they call the wireless, the radio. So we remember these things. I don't know just exactly what was through my mind, but Americans were killed by a foreign country, and that's a war. And they were airplanes and did it consciously. And I was not surprised that we would be in war. Actually, some of the Americans there in Hawaii did, uh, did shoot back at them, and, uh, and we know that some battleships were sunk and everything, and now we know it's a mistake to put them all in one place, and, and so on and so on. That's hindsight. Uh, but uh, I was not surprised that we were then in war, and I think uh, uh, that was December 7, and maybe a day or two later, the president announced it in this famous word, December 7th is a day that will live in infamy. Franklin Roosevelt, Commander-in-Chief. Uh, yeah, infamy. Can you imagine there were 16 million people in uniform in World War II, 16 million. Each of them had a pair of shoes. Each of them had, if necessary, eyeglasses, etc. Each of them had a, a gas mask, and so on. 16 million. And unfortunately, 400,000 of them were killed. In addition, in that war, 50 million, 50 million people died. That's one war. But uh, we are in the pool of this thing. It's called World War II. And what I found, in, and I hear other people talk about this, the, uh, the comradeship of soldiers. The, uh, you meet people you don't know, and right away you're a friend, and so forth and so forth. So these are valuable experiences. You can have them anywhere if you're, you know, friends and so on. But in the, the, the basis of a, of a life is, is family, usually, and this becomes a family. These 400,000 people who died, uh, they sacrificed their lives for that. Otherwise, it would have been uh, yeah, the way the way it was going. It would have been tyranny and so on. Uh, and I'm very grateful for it. Uh, one of my, when I was in grammar school, there was a boy named John Zimmerman. He was smarter than I am. I, I wasn't the stupidest, and I wasn't the smartest in the class. I was in the middle, but he was near the top. And. Uh, uh, I met him, and uh, after high school, he got a job delivering mail, house to house, to which to him is home to home. And he said, Norman, uh, I like very much what I'm going to do, what I'm doing, and I'm going to do it all my life. And he then, the way things were, he went into the military, and he died in Normandy, when that's the invasion uh, uh, from England into Europe. And after the war, I went to his home and talked to his mother and sister, and they showed me his Purple Heart, and I offered my sympathy and so on, and, uh, and feel that, you know, something has to be done in this world. You, you, uh, Something has to be done. We have to do. The world has to find something other than war. And of course, it's called peace.